Rosemary. Mm. Oh, yeah, the rosemary, boy. These are herbs. You know what's crazy? Yeah, you can smell that rosemary. Rosemary, boy. Hey. You know, you know, Levi be tapping yeah, for your memory. Okay. Good for the memory and all that. My mom used to oh, always be picking. Levi be ta it's tapping into that rosemary. Levi, Levi tapping is mm. heavy. You got that? Broke the rosemary. Mm. 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 My mom used to always tap into yeah, it. Yeah, that's sage. You can smell that sage, too. Rosemary. Oh, my God. This is the sage? Yeah, this is the sage. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You smell the sage. You smell the sage. It's wrong, too. Damn. Wow. Sage is real small. It's herbs, man. These herbs is different, bro. I used to always tell my moms, like, what are you doing? She used to always tap into that. Describe your your peppers. Give me your Ezekiel 47 and 12. Ezekiel 47. You want to hold it, you want to hold it, brother? Yeah, hold it. Two center Ezekiel 47 and 12. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's a spearmint. So this is where you get like the spearmint from. Like the different mints, the spearmint, like mm -hmm. you got like um like different type of gums, things of that nature. Yo, Priest. Priest, your luck. Say Ezekiel 47 and 12. I'm going to get that, uh, that John you asked for, too. Nah, I said that spirit. Oh, you smell the spirit? Yeah, I said Which one? Yeah. What was that? What was that? Spearman. Spearman. It's like a family of a couple of them. See? Oh. Let me show you. Time. I got it. You got it? All right, bring it up. No, my good, bro. This is um, Ezekiel 47 and 12. It right. says, right. And by the river upon the bank thereof, on this side or on that side, shall grow all trees for mm -hmm. me, mm -hmm. whose leaf shall not fade. Mm -hmm. these, right. these is all, we got spearmint. All of these things is um, what that's what I say. The leaves is medicine. Uh, no, nah, this one's oh, kind. Oh, okay. Like yeah, keep uh, neither shall the fruit thereof be consumed. It shall bring forth new fruit according to his months, because the waters they issue out of the sanctuary, and the fruit thereof shall be for meat, and the leaves thereof for medicine. Right. You see. Mm -hmm. All these different things are used as medicines. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? The mints, got the sage, rosemary. rosemary. These are all used as medicines. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So once again, you know, one thing, especially dealing with Israel, you know, of our people, we suffer from a lot of different diseases. Yeah. Okay. A lot of um, heart problems. You know, diabetes, things of that nature. Right. Cancers. Right. Right. All these different things are herbs to help um, um, get that disease, because that's right. what it is. Your body's in a disease. It takes all that away from your body. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So when we so just coming to this garden, this right here brings a vibration of letting you know that we're supposed to be, like the scripture say, to um go back mm -hmm. to the old paths. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. We're supposed to be tapping back into this, man, because a lot of a lot of our ailments could be cured. Okay, well, first and foremost with prayer of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Free. Okay, to um put yeah. the spirit and activate the herbs within these uh the attributes within mm -hmm. these uh, different herbs, man. That's right. medicine for us. Right. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? And see, Esau will tell you a damn famine. Meanwhile, all this shit growing. Bro, right. Like the earth said, yo, yeah. I'm not going to grow shit hey. for the next mm -hmm. 10 years. Right. Hey, my allergies and my sinuses are not even bothering me right, right now while I'm around all these plants. Mm -hmm. That lets you know that, you know, spiritually it's activating, man. That's right. Mm -hmm. You know? The second you walk out, then it's pollution. Yeah. So, hey, this is right here for free. The Lord gave us this. So, you know... This is this is this is a, our usage, man. That's right. You know, we we a lot of time we depend on Esau. The girl, we gotta go here. Yep. You could grow this right out the dirt, man. Yeah. What's what's so special about this? We right here in Brooklyn. And this shit growing. Yeah. Agriculture. <laughs> Agriculture. The thing about you know? Esau is though, you know, you gotta have certain permits to grow. He don't let right. you grow anything you in front you. of your uh you. your house. You know, he he uh, he he come find you. Right. He try, right. He try. He try to do that, but he you try to do you, that. You got yeah. you some land. You could do it or. Do an end, indoor garden, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah, he still try to oppress you in these in these ways. That's why we gotta get out of this ultimately. But I I hear, I hear what you're saying. Yeah, ultimately, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. yeah. I, know, I know my mom, she would she would grow certain things on, on in, in the front because she uh, her back wasn't done yet. The neighbor would uh, call the people on her and things like that. They give her a fine or a ticket, and it's like, yo, it's another Jake too doing that. Uh -huh. yeah. You know, Amen. this come place come is, uh, is come oppression. Come all day. Hold on, hold on, Slacky. Hold on. I have one quick one that go with exactly what the priest just brought up. Um, 
This is um, Shirak 38, and I don't know if the one brought this out, Shirak 30 and 4. The Lord have created medicines out of the earth, mm -hmm. and he that is wise will not abhor them. All right? See? So that's what we're saying. You ain't going to hate this. Right. These are the medicines. That, what are they going out of? I don't see a fucking pharmacy attached to this. Right. It's coming right out of the dirt. Mm -hmm. If I pull that thing out, you're going to see the roots and everything attached to it. That's right. All right, and it's growing right here. Mm -hmm. And these things, spearmint, mint. That helps with um that helps with um if you got like you know a cough and things or you can't like get the sinuses Mucus, sinuses you know that 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 cleanses cleanses it right out allergies yeah and, and also it repels a lot of insects because mint is so yep. so strong yeah it 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 push back a lot of insects it will kill a lot yeah. of insects man Inse infestations and all even, of that even me as a testimonial man I remember um had like an infestation of mad gnats mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying my crib mm -hmm. Yo, and at first I didn't know what to do. I had an um, exterminator come over. Mm -hmm. I was like, yo, what you put down? He said, yo, I just put down peppermint. Yo, and you could see them right before me just dying off, scrambling. Peppermint. You know what I'm saying? So I put down the peppermint, yo, it annihilated all of them. Mm -hmm. All of them. Letting you know, once again, like the back what the priest said, mm -hmm. you know, these mints are repelling agents, man. Right. And that's why when you do a frankincense, things of that nature, you see a right. lot of demons. Because we see a lot of people from us camp that smoke weed, they pass by. Right. And they say like it's a stinking smell because that's that demon on them. Right. That can't stand. Yep. You know these different mints. Yep. Mm -hmm. But uh, that was it on that. Yeah, priest Rob. Um, Bring these precepts says, out. Um, verse five. Mm -hmm. Was not the water made sweet with wood, that the virtue thereof might be known? That's what we made yeah. right earlier. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. yeah. the virtues of what? The virtues of the usage of these things. The Most High want us to use that. That's right. You know, but that's through God that gave us that information. Mm -hmm. And now we do. We talking spiritually. Spiritually. All right, we are those same plants, you know. Right, All right, spiritually, you know, we giving off a scent. Spiritually, Yahweh Shah was these herbs, cause God. remember he says he was the word. The word healed them. Mm -hmm. Right. The, these is meant to heal. These is meant to uh, uh, change the water to be sweet. The Lord can change the water to wine. Yahweh Shah was all of this. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. You know. Uh -huh. And right now that healing process is what. The 144,000, the elect. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's not talking about this world. It's not talking about healing this world. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's why the scriptures tell you, like, what? Take bomb for her, but she cannot be healed. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. like, why? Because guess what? America is on a downfall, man. Right. right. You know, when, when I see these beautiful uh, 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 vegetation mm -hmm. and, and mints and things of this nature, right. this just reminds me of Yasha Allah being built up again. Right. right. That's you know what I'm saying? It's showing yeah. me. You know what I'm saying? It's showing me that this world is on a downfall. Yeah. Right? You know what yeah. I'm saying? Because you can't save this world. There's no amount of mints that can save America. And we don't want this place to be saved. We right. want it to be destroyed. That's right. Man. That's right. All right. Matter of fact, can you get um, that for me, Bob? Oh, you? Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, no, after you. You want to walk? You want to walk and do it? Or, uh, yeah. This is Luke 12 and 27 and 28. Right. It says, consider, consider the uh -huh. lilies, the lilies. That, how they grow. Mm -hmm. They toil you not, they spin not. And yet I say unto you yeah. that Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. Right. See how the Lord made a comparison saying like, yo, even Solomon, even Solomon wasn't arrayed like all of these. Meaning what? It shows you how beautiful the Lord made all these different type of plants and all these different type of uh, 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 flowers, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? But also what it said right before that, it said they, they neither what? Uh... That Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. Mm -hmm. But it was saying something like they didn't told it. Anything. Oh, okay. Let me read it again. Right. Right. This is uh, Luke 12 and 27. Consider the lilies, how they grow. Right. Consider the lilies. Go ahead. They tore you not. Mm -hmm. They spin not. Mm -hmm. And yet I say unto you that Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. Right. Matter of fact, continue you next verse. Verse 28. If then the Mosah so cloth the grass which lets you know even within this brothers is touching on these different yeah. uh plants guess what they have clothes on them they're clothed right. they have discretion oh that's strawberries i'm like yo what i'm smelling it's a strawberry bush mm. you good? Oh, raspberry. Strawberry raspberry. Strawberry. Look. see them yeah yes strawberry boy yeah we need a strawberry boy hmm. i didn't even realize it until i'm looking around but yeah but you like the, I'm smelling them. I'm like, yo, what is that? That's a strawberry you, you smell. Mm -hmm. Right, sloppy. That's cool, but that lets you know that even they have discretion. The most I even clothe them. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? So go ahead, keep going. Oh, verse 28. If then the most I so clothe the grass, which is today in the field, mm -hmm. and tomorrow is cast into the oven. Right, because even when you think about flowers, guess what? The concept is, you know, they have their time to bloom, and then they die off, right? That's the concept of life, right? Go mm -hmm. ahead. How much more 
will he clothe you, mm -hmm. O ye of little faith. Mm -hmm. Right, meaning what? Guess what, he's doing, he doing that with flowers and he keeps them clothed. And guess what, they have a time and a purpose. How much more are you? Right. You know what I'm saying, meaning what? No matter what, the Most High is going to sustain us because look what he's doing with the flowers. All you got to do is just look, just, just think about, you know, nature. When you're dealing with nature, once again, they go through different type of elements. They go through the uh, rainy seasons. You know what I'm saying? They deal with different type of hurricanes, things of all that nature, and guess what? The most high sustained them. And these are flowers. Some of them they actually wither off and died and get and reincarnation get born back again. How much more now, you know, in this time that the most high is gonna sustain um Yashallah Israel, it's 144,000. Right. Mm -hmm. So when you see this, it's supposed to remind you that guess what? The Lord is taking care of them, and guess what? They don't toil. Right. Like I was reading this Christmas before that, guess what? They're not getting up, they're not going out making ends meet. The Lord is always providing them with sustenance. They always get their water, they always get mm -hmm. fed. Mm -hmm. Right. So how much more us in that time? And that's something that brothers have to always remember. Absolutely. In this time, guess what? It's going to be a time where ain't going to be no more job. Ain't going to be no more working. You know what I'm saying? You see that this infrastructure is starting to crash upon itself. Mm -hmm. It's going to be the faith of what? That true vine, Yahweh Shah. Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah, that's going to sustain us, man. Right. You know? That's it. We continue walking. One more, one more, oh, fuck it. Uh, yeah, we can walk and talk. Okay. Yeah, you, then you can bring yours out, brother. Um, back in Luke 12 and 29, it says, And seek not ye what ye, ye shall eat, or what ye shall drink, neither be ye of a doubtful mind. See? Most I make it an apple. Right here is an apple tree. See? All right, and this grew out of the earth. You know, this is, this is actually, it's, I know the concept is really like impeded in our mind, but... That right there is a miracle. A uh. fucking uh, a big ass tree with fruit on it that you can eat came out of the ground. That's a miracle, uh. bro, when you really think about it. That is a miracle. Yeah. You know, I mean, you being accustomed now, you planted the seed, but bro, that's a miracle, the fact that, look how big this thing is, it grew out the ground. And it came from a seed. And it came from a seed. You know, so that, that's a miracle in itself. So the Lord could perform miracle, instant miracles, man. Right. So we don't gotta, uh, you know, as we walk into the garden, you know, we, we didn't even realize these are strawberries down here. You know, we walk past great uh, grapes, you know. Mm -hmm. Keep going, keep going. Oh, you wanted to get some mint. Yeah, you know, and, and, and this is all with the most I grew out the ground. So, yeah, it's, it, it's nothing for us to worry about, you know. It's not for us to uh, 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 um, have doubts about. Um, I got a quick precept. You made a point just now. Mm -hmm. You said the Lord is going to provide for us. Mm hmm so brothers are not to be brothers are not to have a doubtful mind. Look at this, peaches. You got a peach tree. Golden Jubilee peach. Okay. This is Habakkuk one and five. Yeah, it's a golden jubilee peach. This is Habakkuk one and five. Behold, ye among the heathen, and regard and wonder marvelously, for I will work a work in your days, which ye will not believe. Though it be told you, right? Mm -hmm. So the Most High said, "Yo, listen, listen, man, I'm gonna come through for you in, in the days, in the times of tribulation, the perilous times that's getting ready to come upon the face of the earth and in this country." Right. Mm -hmm. Lord, letting you know straight up, I'm gonna work a work in your days. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, and it says, "Um, for I will work a work in your days, which ye will not believe, though it be told to you." Mm -hmm. So you know, just in case you might have some sort of doubtness mm -hmm. you know that the lord is going to come to come through you know the birds they they eat every day they drink every day right mm -hmm. you know that's the lord feeding them every day they mm -hmm. birds got faith mm -hmm. that they going to eat <laughs> yeah Con. you know um y'all read y'all mentioned this earlier um i wanted to get this um we passed the uh we passed the apple tree a peach tree and grapes and things of that nature and this scripture um, I want to bring out was John 12 and 24, St. John 12 and 24, and it says, Verily, verily, I say unto you, except the corn of wheat fall into the ground, mm. all right, and die, right, it says, it abideth alone, but if it die, bring it forth much fruit. So, Yahweh Shai himself, referring to the corn of wheat, all right, oh, let's walk through the rock garden. You know, because they say you can sow among the rocks. Mm. You know, um, Yahweh Shah himself died to bring forth more fruit. As we see the apple tree there, that apple tree standing alone with apples on it. Mm. But if it was to fall down and die, 
it's gonna be more apple trees that's gonna grow because each one of them are gonna grow out a tree and that's what our Lord Yahweh Shah did. Mm -hmm. See, that's how the nation is gonna win. It's gonna win by you um, uh, sacrificing, doing the right thing. You know, and that's what Yahweh Shah was about. You know, he, he did an ultimate sacrifice for the nation to grow in righteousness. You see? Yeah, we was, we was yeah, mentioning that earlier. Yeah. I got some, uh, this, uh, yeah. uh, this is uh, Deuteron Deuteronomy chapter 8, verse 8, Mama Star for 7. It said, um, this is Moses speaking to Israel about what, he have, what, what the Lord has installed for them, you know? Yeah. So this is um, verse 7. Oh, for the Lord... It's like, you were just talking about the lilies. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. That's a different yeah. type of lily. August. August. August lilies. Yeah. Right. Oh, it's a Deuteronomy chapter. Mm -hmm. Right. Can. I read it for you. Do What's that? Uh, Deuteronomy yeah, chapter 8, verse 7. I mean, Augustus. Augustus. Oh, for, okay. for the Lord thy God bringeth thee into a good land, a land of brooks, of water, of fountains, and depth that, that springs out of valley and hills. All right, but you see in here how the Lord set up this place for really for Israel, you know, right. valleys, books of waters, you know, right. with filters. Right, right. He bring, bring trees to filter the water, you know, and all these good stuff. And I'm moving on, both it, a land of wheat and barley and vines. Thank you. Thank you. Both it, a land of wheat and barley, va a land of wheat and barley and vines and fig trees and pomegranate. A land of oil, olives, and honey. Mm -hmm. If you look around and you see we're passing through here, we've seen vines and all different types of vegetables and fruits. You've seen all different types of fruits. All the make for Israel. Yeah. The Lord make all for Israel. Great point. Yeah. You know, this all these things were make for Israel in the land. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You know, so all the make for Israel. All these things we've seen here. Mm -hmm. this is, the, Lord, the Lord makes it for our sakes, yo. Mm -hmm. So all these things is our sakes. He makes it for. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? All these vines and all these fig trees and all these other fruits, right. the onion, everything right. was made for our sakes. Right. The Lord made it for Israel. Right. You know what I mean? So, you know what I mean? So, at the end of the day, this was made for us. We're just checking this out. You know, this is the balance. Mm -hmm. uh, Isaiah 45 and 7, I created uh, good and evil. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right here, you have the lily of the valley. It's right. really cultivated for perfume, mm -hmm. but it's poisonous if eaten. Right. Mm -hmm. So, right. the priest was saying a lot of, a lot of people uh use different methods and they would do that uh, i think levi did that when they was fighting against esau and yeah. that brother was good with the herbs he was killing uh killing a lot of edomites because some herbs is not meant to be eaten they would be poisonous right. Right. Mm -hmm. they could be used as poisonous to kill you mm. so you got a lot of individuals out here that do like the espionage or do like spy work things of that nature matter of fact for any brothers that ever seen that show breaking bad that was the one of the ways he would actually kill somebody he would take something like this and like put it maybe in a tea or whatever like that. So you drinking it, next thing you know that person get poisonous, die off. You're not thinking nothing of the, of the sort. Yeah, you just die the natural cause. Exactly. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So people would do things like that. But this shows you, like I said, the balance. You know, now you'll see that, make a tea, go, okay, no, that thing will kill you. Right, right. But at the same time, they cultivate it for perfume. Right. That's the usage for it. So when you went to the scripture, it got many usages. Mm -hmm. That's a plant that's just used for perfume. If you eat that, you going you could die. You could be killed. You'll die. Lucky, I, have this, I have this tree home as a plant. This is an evergreen tree. This tree could withstand any weather. Wow. Evergreen tree. This is a, I, I, I got the name of it. It's a Chinese uh, jump fire. I have this tree. This tree. This tree. Yeah, Jennifer. This tree is like a, like a cactus. You could mm. it, 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 it can survive of water. Wow. Like, it, it, here only for a week or two a month, it still survives. It's mm. an evergreen tree. I have this tree home, man. Mm. Yeah, you, you said this I, I is just, a juniper. I, I, I picked this tree out in, um, by, by, um, by Home Depot. I just like this tree. It, it, mm. it just shows strength. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. funny how I say you juniper. Know? And you know, Esau was um, eating out of the juniper root. The juniper root. Yeah. yeah. Right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Check that out. So that's mm -hmm. what Esau was eating. He was eating the root of that. Mm -hmm. Uh, let's check this out. The rock garden, small scale splendid, uh, woodland, large shrubs and trees, including viburnums, maples, ponds, spruces, uh, acid loving plants. These plants require acidic soil conditions. So when you say, um, when we was going into botanical, that each plant has its own sort of way of growing, you got plants that need the acid, the uh, acidic soil. 
all right? Um, you got dry tolerant plants that don't need no rain. These plants can inhabit um, landscapes where the rainfall is only 10 to 20 inches per year. Some have adaptions like succulent leaves to store water. So you got some plants, hey, you know, it says it's going to be a famine in a word. So we're going to be those plants that's storing this up. No. This word, which is the water, mm -hmm. all right, for the for that for the drought season. That's why I say that Amos is gonna be a famine on the word. Like, but well, that's the plan to suck up the water. Yeah, it it, it stores the suckling, it stores water. Ah. so it just takes it, yeah, takes that, it all in. I think that's that's that, that's us right there. Yeah. Right, we spiritually being the uh, the succulent. Uh, yeah, uh, we uh, that plant. We gonna take the pressure. Con, we gonna stand anything yo. That's right. We gonna stand the, the famine. We gonna stand everything. We yeah, put. that's yeah. right. Again, Martial all, law, everything you go with stand here. That's right. And again, that all goes back to our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shah. He says, What? Out of your belly shall flow what? Rivers of living, Rivers of water. living water. You know what I'm yep. saying? Cactuses, things like that. Store yeah. that water in, man. They, those are special plants that know. Mm. They have a sense of knowing that it's going to be a drought. Mm -hmm. And the only ones who's yep. preparing like that and know that is the elect. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, the elect is like succulents and um, 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 uh, desert plants right. with, that, with that wisdom, I'm That's saying. Right. You know? because we store it. Mm -hmm. You got the aquatic, the pond is home for floating plants such as water lettuce. Mm -hmm. look, look how much stuff the Lord got, man. Yeah, evergreen, yeah, evergreen. evergreens. He say uh, 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 they low growing, uh, use juniper, dwarf spruces, firs, mm -hmm. full cypresses. Yep. And shade tolerant plants. Mm -hmm. uh, oaks, conifers, create a protective energy, a canopy mm -hmm. over this collection which includes shade lovers like azalea. So, Mm -hmm. So you got you got the actual big plants that actually um, cover the shade for the uh, the, pl yep. the plants that can't take the direct sunlight mm -hmm. like that. So mm -hmm. hey, that that would be like your shot. Huh. They say yeah. um, the Lord um, abide um, under my. Let me get that Psalms ninety one. Mm -hmm. You abide under His wing. He gonna be a shadow of protection. Yeah. Huh. So, so like you could, you could even tell this plant like a bit of durability. What she area, what she plant, you know, in the sun, you know, they could take all that pressure, yo. Right, right. Yeah, right. yeah, so yeah. Like, what you, what you know? Yeah. Come, come. Come. So we got uh, pull the camera up. Mm -hmm. We got Psalms ninety-one and one. It says, "He that dwell in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty." Look at the shadow. Come. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. look, mm -hmm. look at these plants. They growing. They grow better underneath the shadow because the heat. Yeah. That heat. They can't take too much of the heat. So what the Lord does is he's assisting, all right, like this shade tolerant plants, you know, covering them for that heat. Yep. And that's the beautiful thing of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. That's right. What he does, his the way of what he does is being played out on this earth. Mm -hmm. I, I, <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. You know? And this them right here. Yeah. You can only have a green plant. This one right here. Yeah, like, you know, everything is spiritual first before it's physical. Before, yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's like a tabernacle in the heavens. Right. Tabernacles on the earth. It's the same thing. That's right. And everything is just a uh, uh, mimicking. Come on. Uh, 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 everything is pretty much mimicking, mm -hmm. you know, uh, the spiritual realm. Right. You know what I'm saying? Everything is spiritual first and then manifests, you know, in the physical sense to emulate the spiritual realm. Right. You know? Um, like, uh, 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 that's pretty, uh, kind of pretty much it. I had, um, yeah. Quick one, real quick. This is um, Matthew 13, and um, it says Matthew. Uh, it's Matthew chapter 12, right here. Matthew chapter 12, verse. What's that one? It say, uh, "Sown among stones." Let me see. Stones. I know it's in stones. Isn't it some certain stones that keep the water cool too? Mm -hmm. Right? Remember that uh, video brother sent out? How uh, it was a shade on the stone, but the water was passing through the it was passing through the uh, this the stone and, and it kept the water cool. Mm. This is it real quick. Matthew chapter 13, verse 19. When anyone heareth the word of the kingdom and understandeth it not, then cometh the wicked one and catcheth catcheth away that which was sown in his heart. So this this word when we when we teach and the Lord is pushing forth this word is being com compared to as a, a, a sowing an actual seed. It says, "But one catcheth it away." 
so that like a bird will pick up a seed and eat it, right? This is he which receives seed by the wayside, so it never gets uh, rooted in his mind. Verse 20, but he that receives seed into stony places, the same as he that heareth the word, and a nun with joy receiveth it. Yeah, I'm an Israelite, man. Yeah, we supposed to be on top. He ecstatic, it's joy, right? Yet have he not root in himself, but <laughs> Dora for a while, for when tribulation or persecution arises wow. because of the word, by and by he is offended. So he's joyous, but when a tribulation occurs, what's the different tribulations for these plants? You know, could be the wind blowing, could mm -hmm. be the heat. You know, ain't nothing growing on this stony thing mm. right here, man. It'd be winter too. Look, look, look at these. Look at this stony. It's barely anything growing. Yeah, you yeah, yeah. can't ca camera around. Mm -hmm. Nothing's growing. A little bit of shrubs. That's the only thing I could grow. But it, 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 if any major wind or anything come, whatever's there is getting getting lifted right up. Mm -hmm. You know. So that's it. Said that's what compares it to those who receive it on a stony. Uh. This is stony right here. You see it nothing but stones, man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nothing can't grow there. Yeah. Oh. Let me say something? Yeah, I got something. I got something real quick. This is uh Jeremiah 17. Uh, this is Jeremiah 17 and 5. Thus save the Lord. Cursed be the man that trusteth in trusteth in man. Like the priest is bringing out, man. Those will be the those that uh fell on those stony grounds. You know what I mean, because those are the guys that put their trust in man. They put their trust into the system. They put their trust into Esau. Mind you, Esau already sets up this whole algorithm society where Jake is dependent on it. Mm -hmm. So once that breaks off, they have no hope, right? So they they really trusting in the man, right? It says, and maketh flesh his arm, and whose heart departed from the Lord, right? Their mind departed from the Lord. Why? Because originally. We would worship Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. That's, that's what the children of Israel did. But according to Jeremiah uh, uh, 17 and 4, right? Uh, we discontinued from that heritage, right? We lost that. It says, um, verse 6 For he shall be like the health, he shall be like the, the, the heath in the desert and shall not see when good cometh, mm -hmm. right? He, you in the desert, you, you ain't know when any good coming to you. Mm -hmm. you. You worrying about the heat, you worrying about the drought, you worrying about when your next uh, water, thirst yeah. gonna be, right? It says, um, it says, but shall inhabit the parched places in the wilderness, in a salt land, in a salt land, and not inhabit, not inhabit it, right? Verse seven. I got you, Verse 7. Salak here, brothers, real quick. Verse 7. Blessed bless is the man that trusteth in the Lord, and whose hope is the Lord, and whose, and whose hope the Lord is. And just like he was breaking down about the rocks, right? The, uh, about the, um, mm -hmm. you know, Israel, we being that, um, right. that, that, that tree that's able to withstand, you know, the things that to come, right. you know, the heat. Right, and, right. You know, be, you know, like you said, they grow better under the shadow, things of that nature, right? Right. And that plant you mentioned that absorb that absorb all the water, right? The scripture right. is talking about um, the man that trusts in the Lord, right? It says, "Blessed is the man that trusts in the Lord, whose hope the Lord is." Verse eight: For he shall be as a tree planted by the waters, right? Right. And that spreadeth out her roots by the river. That's, that shows that he, she's been, uh, that tree has been well nurtured and has been deep rooted in the waters, which is mm -hmm. what? The knowledge, right? right? It says that spreadeth out her roots by the waters and shall not see when heat cometh. Right. Meaning what? It's not going to worry about the heat that's coming. We know that this, this society is in a total collapse, but we're not worried about the heat that's coming. God. You know, that's 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 the heat coming to, to, to the to the trees and to the right. the plants and these these, these are the, right. these are the trees and the plants right here right. and uh. the fruit right here. Right. But we're growing in a society where the heat is going crazy. They're taking away all the water, but for some reason we're still able to get a stream of water flowing through and uh. able to make this fruit grow. Right. Yeah. Oh, you got more? Uh, yeah, I'm about to finish right now. It says, um, but her leaf shall be green and shall not be careful. In the year of drought, neither shall cease from yielding fruit. And since the apostles of Great Millstone and their elders have been pushing this word, all right, since, you know, 
Elder uh, uh, High Priest Abba Bivens came, right, when everybody was totally in bug out mode, right, since this truth has been pushing, it has never stopped yielding its fruit. Right. And mind you, the world was in, in total chaos, right? Mm -hmm. Right. Since the besiege of Jerusalem, this place been on a, a decline, mm -hmm. right? This kingdom, Esau's kingdom has been falling, but the fruit has just kept increasing and increasing, right. you know? Yeah. I just wanted to point this out real quick. Uh, you know, uh, as we, 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 we get the frankincense resin, but we, 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 if you could look right here, this is exactly oh, it how, is. how it goes. Mm -hmm. it, it gets cut wow. into and the, tree, the trees actually bleed. Mm -hmm. And when they bleed, this hardens and it turns into a resin and that's when you burn it and get the scent. Mm -hmm. You know, so somebody was hitting this tree up because you could tell it got, it got uh, blood. But this is a, actually a cypress tree, which is in the scriptures. This is a cypress tree. This is uh, Isaiah 44, 14. He heweth down cedars and taketh the cypress and the oak which he strengtheneth for himself among the trees of the forest. He planteth an ash and a rain doth nourish it. So this right here is a, um, it says Hanoki cypress. You know, it has a beautiful, distinct reddish brown color. Mm -hmm. And you see, you got, you see, you got, it, 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 it got it's like, incense, it, yeah, yeah, that's smell, it. The smell of it, see? That's the that's yo. the that's the gum that's the gum of it. Yo, the most are different, yo. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the trees the trees give the trees give off uh, uh beautiful. You know, they give off that yeah. gum. And if you notice, you don't see a lot of insects around this, like we were saying. Yeah, mm. yeah see certain you don't see, so you trees. don't see no ants going up to ah certain trees. They don't. Yeah. don't yo, this place, yo, Esau is a devil, man. Because you got to come to a captive garden in order in order to have this Turn around this access. Yeah. Yes, this should be planted around your neighborhood. Right outside. It should, you be come around, outside. it should be around your backyard. Your, your everything. It will be calm and it will yeah. be peace. Instead of a, a peaceful wow. vibration, you got to go into a captive garden, pay in order to uh, freely um, in order to see what was freely given to the uh, to the earth. Right. That's why Esau put Jake in a in a concrete jungle. Yeah, he yeah. get everything away from us. He take the he took the stones away from us. Yeah, the righteous herbs and plants. He put us to the stony ground. Yeah, you know. Yeah, now you gotta go through him for everything. Right. Yeah, well, that was part of the curses. He shall be the head. He shall be the tail. Right. You know. Oh, man, that was. Oh, man. Yeah, that's a beautiful frankincense smell right there, man. Is it frankincense? It's a cypress tree. It's a cypress tree. Oh, it's incense. I smelled this before. Right. It's a yeah, it's resin. I smell it, resin. We burnt this before, please. We burnt this smell before. That'd be good, you know? A lot of the trees, a lot like of the family trees are the same. Well, you gotta know, Ishikar, when they deal with, um, when you deal with the tree, um, it's one resin, they, they, they use that as a substitute for frankincense when it was carried here in the Americas, because they were used to the frankincense tree. It's called copal. C-O-P-A-L. Copal is a substitute for frankincense. But there was no frankincense trees when they came to the America. Mm -hmm. Put it back to what teach. Mm -hmm. Put it back to what teach. Keep walking around the rose garden. Just cut it off and then. Oh, okay. Yeah, how you, um. Man, I ain't had this camera on the way. Things there to take away your information. Mm -hmm. You got it? Come. Come. Yeah, man. So we just approached over here. Look at the name of this tree right here. These individuals know who they are, bro. Right. Um, so we're trying to look up this plant right now, get some more information. Yeah, it's not uh, Caucasian wig nut. Let me Google this, because it ain't popping up in the book. The QR code thing? Yeah. It, it went to something, but it ain't showing me the tree. Also, another little fun this, fact, man. You know with that resin, you know, that's also where they make gum from. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of brothers, when y'all get gum and y'all chewing it, they're getting it from that resin. That's what, mm -hmm. you know, causes that texture. This is, um, yeah, this is uh, in a region that it grow up is in, originated in the Caucasus region. Mm, Caucasus <laughs> Mountain. So that's why they calling it that. Uh, that's, that's where it originates oh, yeah? from. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, it originates from that area. Mm. So, and it's also between the Black Sea and the Caspian Sea. That's where Russia and them are, <laughs> are beefing in Ukraine. Mm -hmm. That's where Russia you know? stopped over 20 million grains of, of wheat right. to pass through. So this, and that's this, why this drought happened. This tree right. is really, really, um, you know, was where Esau, when he uh, moved up into those areas. 
you know. Caucasus Mountains. The Caucasus Mountains, right. Oh, that dwellers in the cliffs. Of the, mm -hmm. the cliffs of the rocks, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's a, yep. That's exactly uh <laughs> that's exactly what happened. Yeah. So you know, just getting uh, the the history behind it. That's pretty much it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and that, and that right up. there is, you know, spiritual. Right. You know Everything, is, Every, always everything is always spiritual, you know? Yeah. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, because now we're talking, look, look at the seed of, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Talk about that and, and look who comes over. Yeah. 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 Trying yeah. to say a little something to I nah, nah, ain't paying you no attention, man. Yeah. We ain't paying yeah. you no attention. I want to, um. Yeah, so, you know, we could save and keep smiling. Damn devils popped up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because they're like, what, what, are they, what are they talking about with the yeah, car? What do they know about them? Yeah. Right. Clean water. I need to go to this. Yeah. Look at this right here, man. This this something probably like where little oh, it's extra cool in there. Where guy would have to go in and yeah. do like a little hot out. Yeah, gorilla warfare. Yeah, yeah, gorilla yeah. warfare. Jump this, down. This, this shit right here, bro. Wow, you see that inside there, man? Yeah. I'm going in there. <laughs> Yo, but this. But that's see, it. Ouch, climbing on. Yeah. Wow. Carving into a tree. Do something. Like this is shortening their like lives. Like Let's see what's going on over here. Wow, you see that, man? Wow. It's like a house. Yeah. It's like a house in here. Oh, wow. Yo, mad these? spiritual why you just walked in here. Yeah, but who did these carvings? Probably Esau. A matter of fact. Matter of fact. Hey, um. Wow, they came and they carved up the tree, man. And then hurt the tree up, man. Let me, um, you can grab the camera. Let me grab the camera. I got the camera right here. You got the camera? Yeah. Hey, check this out, man. This is how a, a way also God would be able to communicate and know where they were at too. Right. Carve on trees. Yeah. This is a wood that you could carve on, you know, in itself. Mm -hmm. You know, this is a um. It said it was a um what a weeping on uh, beech tree. Mm. You know, I was just saying, God. Kind of, yeah, I didn't even peep the, the big opening. Yeah. But I was just saying, um, like on trees like this. You'd be able to communicate on, or you use as landmarks. You know, people who uh, done marked it all, yeah, it. marked it all up. Mm -hmm. But it was a, um, a, a beech tree, and these beech trees. Another thing with the beech trees is they actually was used to make a lot of um, uh, musical um, uh, guitars and things of that nature. Instruments. Mm -hmm. Yes, 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 yes. Guitars, right? I mean, put instruments from beech trees. The Old Testament beechwood instruments. Extremely cool, man. Mm -hmm. Wow, cool, right? Yeah. yeah. We were just talking about that, the bottom in the shadow. Yeah. Oh. Wow. Yeah. But you, you're on the outside, you don't even, th it looks like there ain't yep. no way yep. in here. Yep. yep. But you come in here, it's just pure cool in here, and yep. it feels still. Yep. Right, right. Like a whole still vibe yep. in here. It's hollow, there, it's cool inside here. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yep. So this is it right here, beach yep. beach tree bark. Beach tree bark. Wow. Let me see usages. Check this out. Is uh, the bark is anti-sid, antiseptic, anti-tissuive. Um It helps um, with uh, various skin diseases. What they would make with this, furniture, cabinetry, cooking utensils, mm -hmm. tools, plywood, sports equipment. It says even musical instruments used for piano, pin blocks, and drum manufacturing. So this wood right here is used to give off all uh, uh, um, music, mm -hmm. you know? Con too, another thing, another thing unique about this tree is that Grass don't grow in here. Wow. And grass grow right. outside it. Go outside. Something about the tree and the atmosphere here, like grass, it's, it's, it's like a house. It's like a house. It's like Yo, a place calm. to come and relax or calm, do calm. something. It, it, the, the grass don't grow on the ground. Yo, you you yeah. know, it, it just the leaves. 
And yeah. everywhere else I got the grass growing regular. So there's something special about this tree, another, another element, how the log works with this. Mm. It's yeah. another way of the log work, yo. Yep. Lean out. How the yeah, 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 it's like a, yeah. Yeah, the, the branches. covering. The branches <laughs> like a, inside of a house. Yeah, the smaller branches. Yep. They go, they go out. Get that, brother. You yeah. Yeah, these branches go out and leave like a little umbrella. They yep. create an umbrella. It's like an umbrella for real, yo. You could really chill and just relax. It's super cool. This is yeah. Jacob. Yep. This is Jacob. Yep. Yeah. 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 Jacob world. dwelling in tent, yo. Yeah. 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 Esau is the man in the field, man. Mm -hmm. uh, I got a precept. Con. We got Jeremiah 17 and 8. It says, But he shall be as a tree planted by the waters. Mm. Mm. And Oh, you brought that up? Yeah, yeah, that's all okay, I, 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 I felt oh, like it came out again. again. All right, come on. We got Jeremiah 17 and 8. It so says, For he shall be as a tree planted by the waters, and that spreadeth out her roots by the, by the rivers, mm -hmm. and shall not mm -hmm. see when he cometh. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And guess what? What is this thing doing? Mm -hmm. yeah, it's spreading out. It's outside of it. Yeah, yeah. Right in here, it's very cool, man. It's a cool. nice, cool, mm -hmm. almost like that nice central air. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, house. Yep. You can literally exactly. lay right there and just go to sleep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it says, um, but her leaf shall be green and shall not be careful in the year of drought. Hmm. Neither shall cease from yielding fruit. You see that? Mm -hmm. So guess what? In here, mm -hmm. brothers, always going to be, always going to have that water. Mm -hmm. Always mm -hmm. going to be cool outside. Mm -hmm. It's a drought. Yep. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Outside has nothing but heat. That's what's going to scorch you. But as long right. as you under the protection and, 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 and that uh, shadow of Yahweh by Shimia Shah, keeping you cool, mm -hmm. keeping that water upon you, you're going to always have a, 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 a safe haven, man. That's right. You know? Yeah, you can literally just step up on that. You can just go to sleep on that thing, mm -hmm. man. Yep. Wow, it's awesome, yo. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Turn five. Yeah. You can just come here, you can, you can just build all the you can build. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I'm forcing myself to walk off. I want to just stay in here and just lay down. Yeah, That's cool. how it should be. Man. That's how it should be spiritually, mm -hmm. you know, so yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Right. Call you down, like, yo. That's, that's how it should be because when mm -hmm. you abide in y'all watching y'all shot, you abide in what? The comforter. The comforter wow. gives you that calmness, man. Right, calm. You know what I'm saying? That's what it is. A comfort. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? When we read these scriptures and bringing it out, comparing it to nature, it's a comfort in it, man. That's right. Not, letting you know that everything has a purpose and it's all been talked about mm -hmm. in the Holy Scriptures. Mm -hmm. Be careful right there, mm -hmm. brother. Don't, don't slip. Priest Rob, don't, don't slip on it. Water. Stop. What's in that tree? Stop, stop it right now, brother. Yeah, let me get the right here. We're walking inside the rose garden. The rose is right here. Um yeah. So uh, I'm gonna bring it out, I'll bring it out in the scriptures on uh, the songs of Solomon. Uh, you know? There's many different types of roses in here. It says, uh, I'll bring it out. Remember you? Yeah, you can read it. Songs of Solomon 2 and 1. I am the rose of Sharon mm -hmm. and the lily of the valleys. Mm -hmm. So, so the rose of Sharon was a specific, that was like an area where roses was most beautiful. I think that was like north of um, Palestine or something like that over mm -hmm. there by the... Um, it's the line between the mountains of Central Palestine and the Mediterranean Sea. Yeah. Right? Um, keep going. Verse two, as the lily among thorns. As the lily among thorns, you know. Look at the actual thorns. You know, we could go into that too. But yeah, what our Lord Yahweh shy. You know, he's saying he was a. Uh, cause this Solomon is Yahweh shy. So if you are, if you are a rose, guess what's going to be around you? Thorns. Thorns. Wow. Uh, you know. So he's spiritual too. Yahweh Shai had thorns around around his around his head. And the reason why the thorns was around his head, yeah, it was a crown, but because he also was that rose. Right. You know? A rose can't be a rose without the thorns. And it's spiritual too that let you know that we we fit the uh description of the curses 
guess what? When we went to slavery, what did we have to do? Yep, we had to pick cotton. And what was around the cotton? Yep, these stones. These stones. Show y'all, man. These these stones are sharp, man. Let you know. That's how the Lord got Jake back. Right. That's how the Lord got Israel back. He said, oh, y'all want to... You know, put corn crown the thorns, cause you know two thirds of Israel, they was the reason for that. Right. Right. So the Lord paid us back by putting us in slavery, and we one of our curses was we was picking cotton, and right. what did the cotton have around it? Thorns. So our mm -hmm. hands used to bleed and everything while we was picking that cotton. And also too to let you know, yeah, look sharp. how sharp that is. Sharp. It, it pierces and, as soon as you touch it, it pierces through your finger. Yeah. And also to let you know too. That that was a curse we couldn't get around because guess what? Remember, um, Esau, you know, the devil of this world, they put a certain quota, so we had to pick a certain amount of cotton. Mm -hmm. So we couldn't carefully try to get cotton. We had to hurry up and rush because mm -hmm. if not, that'd be your ass. You know what I'm saying? Certain mm -hmm. people had to pick like 500 pounds of cotton. You know how much 500 Cotton is light. Right. So you know how much it would take to pick 500 pounds of cotton a day? Right. So you had to literally just, t -t 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 right. just pick them out and just get cut up. Right. Go I got that in John. This is John. Okay, we can tell you walking. Yeah, yeah. Come, come. This is John uh, 19 and 1. It says, Then Pilate therefore took Yahweh Shah and scourged them. Mm. And the soldiers planted a crown of thorns and put it on his head. That yeah. And they put him on a purple robe. Uh, Your brother's director, brother, while you walking more, back? More, more, um, more thorns over here. Come. You know, we in the rose garden. Look at these beautiful roses. But at, like once again, each of the roses have. And these thorns is giant right there, man. Woo! Each of these roses um got thorns all over them, man. So ultimately, for the the thorns to be put on our Lord it represents that way. He was that rose, and which is roses. Let's, let's actually look into a uh, representation of roses. Because Solomon said, "I'm the rose of uh, of Sharon." God it represents actually, you know, beauty. You know, you give a person roses. You know, it's like a, so a female rose is like, it's like beauty, you know, beauty. Right. Matter you know? of fact, anytime you want to impress a female, you always give them roses. Right. They say flowers, they get what? Roses. They don't just right. give them any flower, they always give them roses. Red red roses too. <coughs> that red, Yahweh Shah blood, you know what I'm saying? It's right. spiritual. Right. Uh, it represents love, beauty, courage, you know? And that's what uh, Yahweh Shah represented. He was an expression of Yahweh's love for Israel, you know? Yahweh, the Most High, loved Israel so much that I gave my only begotten son. Right. Whom I loved. Remember, he said that, whom I loved. And what, once again, what does roses represent? Roses rep represent romance and love. And around the ro roses is you see uh, thorns. You see the thorns. And that's what our Lord Yahweh Shah was, man, in, a, in another uh, a spiritual view. Mm -hmm. You know, and you said courage too. It represents right? courage. Oh yeah, come on. Yeah, you gotta get, it says, gotta get that it says courage. You know, the lion, the lion, the lion, the lion has the courage. The lion of Judah. What was the courage he had to do? Was to actually go up and be that sacrifice. You know, so that that's the actual representation of roses, and that's actually what our Lord magnifies. So roses is really made to represent the, the Lord. Uh -huh. You know. To be to, to, to show that forth and roses also has a good distinct smell to it as well right you know beautiful smell mm -hmm. it's a beautiful fragrance and oh you know what's crazy how roses a lot of roses grow certain roses grow through from blood yes 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 you know so check that out wow you know our lord was that was hey, that let's you know, the that lion's room watch that lion's room wow check that out it's called wow. the lion's room check that out oh they got the uh the lid this is like the lid and it's right. white represents the purity the purity of, of yahweh shah Right, God. it's pure. So, and then it says lion. Goes back to the courage. What you said? They got what? Looks like a li uh, look like, so it looks like a lily. Mm -hmm. See, look, got the bees around it pollinating. Right. See? Right. The bees takes it. So they, so they all go from that rose mm -hmm. to help pollinate Come and on. cause more growth. Come on, man. Be fruitful and multiple. They all, it, it causes more growth. Cause now that goes to another plant which pollinates, which causes that seed to right. flourish. Right. It all goes. It all goes back to y'all about some y'all what's up. That's right. You, you got more of that. Yeah, you it was more. more. Come. Okay. Uh, this back in John 19 and 3, and, and said, "Hell, king of the Jews," and they smote him with their hands. Mm -hmm. Pilate therefore went again, and said, "Saith unto them, Behold, I bring him forth to you, that ye may know that I have no fault in him." Right. So what? What was how you say it was about to represent the king because they put that crown. You know, crown of thorns on Yahweh Shah's head. Mm -hmm. You know, 
as a representation to torture him. But on the spiritual eye, we see that as well. Pursuant to what you read in um, Songs of Solomon, I'm the rose. Mm -hmm. You know, a rose has thorns all around them. God. Uh, verse five. Mm. Then came Yahweh shot forth. Oh wow! Look what that said. Gentle, uh, heart. Oh, okay, so money. I looked at it mad because I thought it said gentle. I was, about to, uh -huh. <laughs> I was gonna go in. Oh, <laughs> but hey, still Paul. Uh -huh. John nineteen and five. Then came Yahweh shot forth, wearing the crown of thorns mm -hmm. and the purple robe, and Pilate said unto them, Behold, the man. Wow. Mm. So he was wearing yeah. the crown. Of thorns, yeah, you know, in a purple robe representing royalty, you know. See, gone, gone. I think these are lilies right here. Saint, that's a Saint David's. David's. Mm -hmm. mm. Smell something. No, I'm giving off some fragrance. Might be that what you said. I don't know. Yeah. 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 Come eat them. Come eat them. Those lilies over here, right? You done with that? Nah, I don't. It don't say. You done with that priest on the description? Oh yeah, that was pretty much it. Yeah. Okay, keep keep going. Um, for eyes. That's called the enchanters. Enchanter. Oh, okay, mm. yeah. Enchanters. Yeah. Oh. Um, back at Songs of Solomon 2 and continuing on three, on 2 again. Mm -hmm. As the lily among thorns, which uh, the priest just broke down beautifully through the Holy Spirit. So that, that's, that's how Yahweh Shah was. Right. The thorns was two, two thirds. The most Yahweh Shah was around the thorns. Remember the, your faith? Yahweh Shah was around the unbelieving. You know, very much when you don't got no faith, you like thorns and bristles, ain't shit growing, you mm -hmm. know? That's what our Lord was around, right? You know, he really, he really pumped that, uh, that faith. You know, uh, you know who had a uh, commercial about the rose? Um, I think Derrick Rose used to have that out there at Chicago. You see the rose coming out the cracked ground. Oh yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. what our Lord was—a place barren with no faith. He was just a rose, and the elect seen that and was inspired to be, you know, beautiful flowers too. God. But until then, there was like no motivation to be anything. The mm. Gentiles, like you was about to go into over there, God. you know. They was inspired to be amongst, you know, being Israel again. God. You know? Being sons of God. It says, as the lily among thorns, so is my love among the daughters. Wow. Verse 3. As the lily, so is my love amongst the daughters. You know? Yeah. Verse 3. As the apple tree, as the apple tree Boy. among, as the apple tree among the trees of the wood, so is my beloved among the sons. Mm -hmm. As the what? The apple tree? As the apple tree. We, we, we seen the apple tree. I don't know if y'all, uh, y'all seen it. Y'all see it earlier. We looked at the apple tree. Yeah. When we walk mm -hmm. by. Um. Wow. You smell that? Mmm. Yeah. You no, know, that's yeah. a beautiful. Right smell here. Right there, bro. Yeah. Hmm. Get a nice little shade too. Mm hmm. Hmm. Yeah, like that. Yeah. You know, walking yeah. past like this. Pleasant, calm smell. Calm, yeah. Calm you right down. <laughs> See, a woman with, with the have to soak in certain things like this, man. Yeah, right. Because this a natural, this ain't a, you know, woman put that spray on will be strong as stinging nostril. This is, this is natural. It, it seeps right in. Mm -hmm. uh, it's an inviting, uh, inviting scent. Invite, yeah. Calm. Inviting scent. Uh, yeah, more on that, Bruce? Yeah, it says, um, as the apple tree among the trees of the wood, mm -hmm. so is my beloved among the sons. Right, the apple tree among the wood. The apple tree is unique, yeah. all right? The uh, lily is Watch unique. Back, the roses is unique among thorns. Uh, you know, the apple tree is unique amongst the other trees because the apple tree, when it's at its most potent, it has a strong scent. And it has what? It has a fruit. So it says, I sat down under his shadow with great delight, and his fruit was sweet to my taste. Right. His fruit was sweet to my taste. I want to walk in the grass. You can walk in the grass. Yeah, yeah. I just stepped in that grass just now. I felt everything just like, oh, come, come, come. Way lighter. Yeah. 
Hey, well, that, that's uh, the fruit. Yeah. Oh, and that's it's Solomon singing. A lot of people say, say, oh, that's a woman. That's Solomon the talking about the love from the Father. From the father. Yeah. 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 But I don't know if you read that book. Yeah, okay. Oh, okay. Real, real. Real. Oh, I forgot we even read it. We're gonna get it. Carry these. Carry these to walk in the joint. Yeah. Get some, get some massaging. And hey, man, this was uh, Solomon. Solomon had a garden just like this. Mm -hmm. Solomon had a garden. So y'all think uh, gardening is is a uh, uh, I mean, that's that's for female. No, feminine. Feminine. Yeah. feminine. Solomon had a garden. That's right. why he's yeah, talking very... about on the road. How you think he know about the roles of Sharon and the lily and this and that? He had a whole garden. He was into um what people say botany. He was into that. Right, right, right. Ain't nothing wrong with being into that. Actually, that's, it, is, that's... it is a very manly uh, mm -hmm. uh it's, a, it's a it's a masculine uh, aspect. Because right. again, we talk about husbandry. Remember, yeah, yeah. this is all dealing with what gardening, right. planting. You know what I'm saying? Vines. Right. It's just that the beauty of it is feminine. Right. You know what I'm saying? But guess what? The, the work is feminine. For seed that's feminine. The water. You know what I'm right. saying? But I mean, like, it brings off a beautiful, right. a beautiful look. That's what I meant to say. Uh, yeah, beautiful look. Like I brought out earlier with the, uh, says, uh, the, the, the flowers of the garden are clothed. Right. Look at the lily. How beautiful are these? But Solomon and glory wasn't arrayed as this. Look, look at the beauty of this. You know what I mean? This is, and the most high did this. The most high is the husband, man. That's right. In fact, that's that. But we got any more on that? That's, that's no. it. Um, it's up to you. I don't know. Um, that was it. That's pretty much it. Hmm? Yeah. Um, yeah. Um. I can bring all the, um, the address. Con, con. Yeah, yeah, bring it up. Yeah, we got some um, containing flowers and the um, rose and them. Um, this is a uh, uh, second address. Yeah, cool. Second address, chapter nine, verse. Uh, uh, I start from uh, I start from uh, twenty-three. Second address, nine and twenty-three. Uh, nevertheless, if thou will cease. Yet seven days more, but thou shalt not fast in them. Mm -hmm. Verse 24. But go into the field of the flowers when no mm. house is building, and eat only the flowers of the field. Mm. Taste no flesh, drink no wine, mm. but eat flowers only. Woo! Right, you see, so this is what you, 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 you eat know, flowers. Yeah, to eat flowers. The flowers is good too. You can eat roses. Yep. God, roses God. you can make teas yes. out of. You can eat the rose hips because it's high. Actually, roses is high in vitamin C. That's right. See, Esau know that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See, Esau know the, uh, mm -hmm. the the benefits of of eating right. flowers. Yep. Right. There's That's flowers. Right. A lot of flowers you could consume. Yeah, so this for the Angel Hotel address to do that. To go in right. The right. Go in no, no house toilet. Right. And go in there. So what does that mean? That means right. that Edris had an understanding of flowers. That's right. That was a learned um understanding That's by right. our forefathers. That's right. Because then he would be like, well, I don't know what flowers to eat. Mm -hmm. You know. That yep. means he had an understanding of it or That's was right. given it That's at the right. time. Yeah, because Esau make the whole place only for beauty. Yeah. So he just pulled that image for beauty. Oh, right. it's for beauty. Ooh. Right. But it's for it's for good stuff too because right. Edras ate it for, for fasting. Right. Because right. he enjoyed right. tell Edras to eat that and go go right. go where no house to go where no houses is. And That's eat right. Flowers at the garden. That's because right. They have good nutrients in it. That's right. God. I got a quick yeah. precept real quick. Con. Con. You finish on that, brother? Yeah. Oh, Salak, yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, this is wisdom. Uh, uh, yeah, because like brothers were saying through the Holy Spirit, Esau he knows the benefits. Of uh, certain flowers, the brother brought out a pre uh, beautiful precept just now, stating that you can eat the flower. Esau mm -hmm. knows the benefits of these flowers and, and these roses. Mm -hmm. That's why he got, you know, he got it in captivity. You got mm -hmm. something called the botanical garden. Esau, you got to pay to see this stuff. Mm -hmm. Esau knows, man. Oh, uh, this is Wisdom of Solomon, uh, two, and um, you can read the whole chapter. I'm gonna start at six. Oh. This is talking about Esau, the elites that's in power. It says, come on, therefore, let us enjoy the good things that are present. You want to walk too, brother? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we can walk. Okay. 
uh, come on therefore let us enjoy the good things that are present let us speedily use the creatures like the as in the youth mm. let us fill ourselves with costly wine mm. and ointments mm. and let no flower of the spring pass us by mm. so he so he knows about this um the benefits of the flowers mm -hmm. You know the elites, the international bankers. He saw he he gets into the flowers. He gets all into it. God. Uh, reading on, it says, "Let us crown ourselves with rosebuds." Mm. Before, ah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, uh, Esau like to take these, and that's how you know who is speaking. They oh, they show you that in their Greek empire. Yeah, yeah. they always walk around with yeah. the their crowns. Yeah. would be with literally like ivy plants or, or rose, roses. You know, yeah. roses For and real. shit wow. like that. Right. You know what I mean? So it lets you know that that's that was a tradition of of the Edomites, man. Right, right, you know? right. The products they they the ones who control the world got got control of everything. Mm -hmm. So you know they want the best of the flower, the best of this, and then meanwhile they oppress your ass. Meanwhile it's growing out the ground for free. Mm -hmm. Right, right, you know? right. Yeah, um, I looked up the definition of rosebuds. Mm -hmm. uh, what it says, um, I Google what is rosebud used for. It says drinking dry rosebud tea helps reduce the the risk of density, diarrhea, mm. wow, gastritis, mm. and constipation. Mm. Wow, wow. So it's soothing, so it's soothing to your stomach. Yes. You know what I'm saying? A lot of problems that we have, you know, gallbladder, kidney stones, a lot of problems that our people have deals with the stomach. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? So that's actually soothing and um, takes away that disease of your stomach, man. Mm-hmm. Con. It's uh, reading on, finishing off. It says, finally, drinking rose flower herbal tea is a great way to relax after a busy day af at the office. Mm. And you see how we was walking by. It, it relaxed brothers when right, we smelt that, right. that smell. Yeah, brothers is already relaxed, man. Right, right. Because guess what? This office that we in, this captivity, we always wow, busy. check that out. You know what I'm saying? This, <laughs> this, this captivity, this office we always in, we always constantly busy. We subject to payments. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We don't get no relaxation at home. Here it is. Your house is supposed to be a place of comfort for relaxing. You know what right. I'm saying? Be, whether it be your parents, whether it be your ribs, she constantly on you so you don't got no rest. Yeah. So, you know, that's good that, you know, the Lord will provide these herbs also as another way to help you uh, 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 relax from and uh, take away some of that uh, pain and uh, 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 tribulation from this world, man. Yeah. You know, that's what a lot of these, like we just said, we just, these, these, these uh, uh, fragrances are giving off a soothing smell, right. a, so, a, a soothing feeling, you know? Yeah, you had more on that? Yeah, it was a little, one more sentence. Oh, it says, uh, as it can calm the central nervous system, Woo! reducing the chance of depression and anxiety. Wow. Wow. Hey, hey brother, that's, that's powerful. Appreciate a lot, you know, what brother was saying. You said, you said that last part again? You said. It says, um, as it can calm the central nervous system. Mm -hmm. wow. And what? And reduce the chance of depression and anxiety. Hmm. Once again, that's how it shot that rose. Because yeah. guess what? That takes away our anxiety and depression. depression. Because yeah. that goes back to what? The comfort of the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. right. You know what I'm saying? Right. When we read this, what? That's why, that's why uh, we don't have no more pains in our stomach and our spirit. You know what I'm right. saying? Because we're constantly reading this and it gives us that calm feeling knowing there's a light at the end of the tunnel. Knowing that we're not going to be in this captivity forever. You know what I'm saying? We're not mm -hmm. going to constantly be working, being subject for payments. You know, it's like, uh, what the scriptures say? Like, uh, your, um, like um, uh, I forgot how the scriptures uh, worded it, but pretty much it said like our, our um, pocket shall be like a half holes in it. Or something. Oh, you know, Haggai, yeah. Yeah, in Haggai. Yeah. Okay, you know what I'm saying? So it's like you constantly working, feeling like you're not getting nothing out of it. Right. You know what I'm saying? Your own people against you. You already got your regular demons against you. You got... You got you got different um, nations against you. You know what I'm saying? So the whole world is against you and that right there. Yahweh Bashim Yah Shah is what gives you that calmness to let you know, guess what? No matter what you're going through, I'm I'm always gonna be that cure to uh your 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 your, your anxiety and your depression, man. Yes. You know? Come on. Yeah, Let's got something, if not we go back. Mm -hmm. yeah, I got something. Come on. Oh look, that yeah, there was lilies over here. That's a long something. Let's get that real quick. Let me, let me get oh, that. Right. Let me get that real quick. Yeah, so, so a lot of a lot of flowers was over here was mixed. This as you read that scripture, the roses amongst the lilies. Yeah. That's how that's all that's among among over here. Mm. Roses, roses among the lilies. lilies. See? He took that from the scriptures, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. You saw what? I got Sharak 50 and um seven real quick. As the sun shining upon the temple of the most high. And as the rainbow given light in the bright clouds, verse eight, 
and as the flowers of roses in the spring of the year, as lilies by the rivers of water, and as branches of frankincense tree Woo! in the time of summer. In the time of summer. All right. You know, them frankincense be booming in the summertime. We bro. in the summer. Yeah. We, we in, in the, the summer. summer. And we yeah. smelling it. Yeah. That's right. It says, as fire and incense in the censer, as fire and incense in the censer and as a vessel of beaten gold set with all manner of precious stones right and we just went, we just went, went past some stones and we went past the, you know, the rocks and everything verse 10 and as a fair olive tree budding for fruit and as a cypress tree which groweth up to the clouds and we just walked, went past yeah. the cypress tree yeah mm -hmm. verse 11 wow we did yeah 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 we did Mm -hmm. All right. When he put when he put on the robe of honor, and was clothed with the perfection of glory, when he went up to the holy altar, he oh hold on slide here. Yeah. The holy altar he made the garment of holiness honorable. When he is speaking of uh, uh, Simon the high priest, uh, son of Onias, uh, it says verse twelve. When he took the portions out of the priest's hand, he made himself stood by the heart of the altar compassed about as a young cedar in Lebanon and as palm trees compassed day him round about verse 13 so were all the sons of Aaron in their mm. glory and their ovulation of the Lord in their hands before all the congregations so the high priest because uh, sons of Aaron's then with the high priest was compared yep. to as what flowers, flowers right. the lilies the lilies the right. rainbow the shining sun Right. The Frankincense tree. Right. You know, it says before all the congregation of Israel, and finishing the service at the altar that he might adorn and offer to the Most High Almighty. Come on, come on, yeah. That's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, come on. You know, once again, that we're one with nature, we're one with the right. ground. You know what I'm saying? Because our, our knees are natural shock absorptions with the ground. That's why when you run on the ground, you don't have to worry about knee problems, things of that nature. Mm -hmm. You walk on Esau's concrete, remind him of the Caucasus Mountains. Like, prime example, I put my foot on here. See, and that's why you got to take your sneakers off, be one with nature, man. I put it right here. My feet are already burning up on the concrete. I step right here, even though you think the heat will be on the grass and it will feel a certain way. This is actually calling, causing coolness through my body. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Knees, knees. Cause, yeah. You feel way away. better. Yeah. So y'all brothers gotta become one of the earth, man. When y'all get a chance, yeah. hey, take your sneakers off, walk through the glass. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like the, those are one ways to be cold too, and hot. It's through your feet. Yep. That's why when it's cold at night, what do you do? You cover your feet. Mm -hmm. You know, if you yeah, don't. Transfers from your feet on up. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But you know, but once again, it's showing this is a conductor through your body. Yeah. You know and it, saying? it's that crazy grass. how the grass is cool. Mm -hmm. Kanye. It's all the way east, so cut, cut the connection with the ground. Yeah, it's yeah, all the yeah, way yeah, by yeah. Paving all the ground with paving concrete. it down, yeah. You cut that connection, you know. Yeah, yeah. And all everywhere is sneakers and socks. Yeah, and them shits hurting my yeah. feet yeah. as we walk. Sneakers this right here felt yep. like a nice massage. Just, yep. just massage, right? Just, just, just a nice yeah. massage, you know, taking away from my knee pain and my calf. My right. shit was hurting. Yep. Uh, your body uh. loving this right now. Your body just liking this connection. Uh, uh, Daniel's the first chapter. You got something? Daniel's the first chapter, start at the eighth verse. Mm. Mm. Um, yeah, I gotta find that one. Um, Daniel's the first chapter, right? You want it? The priest is gonna get it. Oh, it's mad cool right there. Yeah. Feel good. This is how you're supposed to feel, man. Yo, it does, bro. It does, priest. Jeez. This is Daniel chapter one, verse eight. But Daniel proposed in his heart that he would not defile himself with the portion of the king's meat, nor with the wine which he drank. Therefore, he requested of the prince of the Enox, e Enox eunuchs. Of, the eunuchs. Salaki, of the eunuchs, mm -hmm. that he might not defile himself. Mm -hmm. Verse 9. Now the most I have brought Daniel into favor right. and mm -hmm. see he didn't want to eat with them because these guys mm -hmm. uh, eat in babylonian ways yep. you know a lot of times a lot of the a lot of the things the way we eat is uh the portions and how the food is made be off mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. know 
he didn't eat how to eat and you know you saw eat his steak medium rare and shit yeah. like that bloody bloody so die. that's how they automatically cooking it certain restaurants you can't even tell them well done no we don't we don't even yeah you know you can't that, tell them well done because they feel like you messing up there you yeah. can't change it right so that's the way the heathen eat you know what i mean the heathen don't know any better they retarded you mm -hmm. know what i'm saying they eat bloody steaks and all of that stuff you know, which is which is detrimental to your body. Mm -hmm. You know, they eat like dogs. Dogs, dogs eat or uh, lions yep. eat raw stuff like that. Mm -hmm. You know, you meant to got to be well well cooked. Yep. Like they're well beastly. Done. Beastly, mm -hmm. yeah, they're very beastly. Well, keep going. Can't go. Nine. <clears throat> now Daniel had brought Salakia. Now the Most High had brought Daniel mm -hmm. into favor and tender love with the prince of the eunuchs. Mm -hmm. Salakia, yeah. Mm -hmm. Verse 10, and the prince of the eunuch said unto Daniel, I fear my lord the king, who had appointed your meat and your drink for thy for for why should he see your face worse liking then like a liking liking than the children which are of your sort mm -hmm. then shall he make me in danger my head to the king right because he, he didn't want to eat of uh their meat he said he pointed your meat and drink mm -hmm. you know but you know daniel was you know just Dang. like they would come at jake daniel was rebellious he wasn't yo bro i'm not i'm not eating that shit, man right mm -hmm. you know i don't care how the king feel <laughs> exactly <laughs> You know, you have some individuals that'll do that, that, you know, say they don't eat certain things, but then when that pressure come on to them with, right. let's just say, you know, the mayor of New York came down and had a dinner with them yeah, or whatever, yeah. they're like, all right, I guess I got to know. Right. That's, that's you know that what I'm respect the person. Respect the person. Well, yeah. we shall, in my house, we shall fear the Lord, man. Right. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Matter of fact, can I get a priest at the back? A priest at the back, you up real quick? Mm -hmm. We got um, Deuteronomy 12 and 23. It says, only be sure that thou eat not the blood, for the blood is the life, and thou mayest not eat the life with the flesh you know mm -hmm. man, back on what the priest said you know you have a lot of these individuals that say they want their steak or they want their food bloody right. medium rare guess what in the end of the day that lets you know that these individuals are true are real true life vampires mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying because what are they doing they're sucking out your blood you know yeah. what i'm saying your, your life force yeah you know what i'm saying which the most i said not to do you know so that lets you know again the babylonians what they had that same kind of mind frame Mm -hmm. You know, if eating all these different abominable yeah, foods him. and, so and him, yeah, a lot of that shit from him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Drinking, Jake, Jake drinking trying to be cow blood. blood. Yeah, mm -hmm. you know, Jake want to feel the. You know, certain yeah. Jakes they want to mm -hmm. feel important. They eat their steak. Um, right, because they yeah, want to take them that importance, yeah. like you said, right. medium Esau, yeah. wow. and they get it from being around Esau. Esau. Yeah. Yes, yes. Yeah, they got to Esau eat my friend. He take him to Peter Luger's or Rich Steakhouse right, place. Oh, no, try this, man. This is a. You know, and they eat it. Oh man, this is great. You know, but it got blood all in it. Oh mm -hmm. man, you crazy. Know? Uh, go ahead. Can I continue. Can uh, verse eleven. This uh Daniel chapter one verse eleven. Then said Daniel to Mel 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 Melza, mm -hmm. who the prince of the Enoch had set over Daniel, Hanana, oh, okay. Michelle, mm -hmm. and. Azaria, mm -hmm. prove thy servant, I beseech thee. Mm -hmm. like verse 12. Prove thy servant, I beseech thee ten days. And let them give us pulse to mm -hmm. eat and water to drink. Mm -hmm. Which is uh, so like a, this is the. When you go into that word pulse, pulse, that means what? Vegetables. Vegetables. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, vegetables. That means vegetables, man. So, yeah. you know, that in itself is powerful because I let you know, brothers should. To the best of their ability, be more more of a vegetable mm -hmm. and fruit like diet. Right. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's more of the alkaline diet, not mm -hmm. all this excess of different type of meats. Mm -hmm. You know, and yep. and matter of fact, before I elaborate, I'll let, I'll let you keep on going. Con, who's 13? The certain vibrations, yeah. the beautiful vibrations that come with that, man. Con, eating that lifestyle. Go ahead. Daniel 1 verse 13. Then let your countenance be looked upon mm -hmm. before thee. Right, your face. Right. Mm -hmm. You're going to see a change in somebody's exactly. face. When they eating because for one they're gonna lose weight, mm -hmm. all right, and then they their content is gonna be more brighter. That's right. Because a lot of this stuff that's inside them is impurities that's yeah, clogging up. Yeah. yeah. So you know we Properties. never really. Yeah, we it said we're gonna eat our food amongst the Gentiles, but again we doing this video to show you that it's a balance. Mm -hmm. You know, use the uses of herbs that God made. You know, go ahead and get you a smoothie. You know, balance out your diet because that's gonna help with it. That's what the Lord made it for. Daniel was a man of the Lord. So a lot of these dudes who want to say vegan and all that shit, did Daniel say, let me do a vegan diet? No, he said he's going to eat posts. Mm -hmm. 
Right. All right, that's a diet of the law. If anything, it should be called a Daniel's diet before or, or vegan or whatever the hell they want to call it. Dr. So Shady, right. alkaline on. diet. Because yeah. right. it's a Daniel diet, straight up. Yeah. Right, yeah. right. And niggas right. come and try to, you know, take over and make new shit. Right. Meanwhile, right. the concept was already written before y'all niggas. Yeah, well, Dr. Sebi, all these individuals, stuff, they yeah. all got that. <laughs> Dr. Sebi, Queen of Fuwa, all these different yeah, individuals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They all got that from, they all got that from the scriptures, man. Mm -hmm. that, they all got that from Daniel, but they didn't want to put their spin on it. What's yeah. that light-skinned dude name, man? He be spazzing, man. <laughs> Click the link down low yeah, yeah. and subscribe to my yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, he be dressing up all crazy, yeah, 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 you know? Yeah, 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 well, Daniel yeah. was doing that before you, man. Yep. You got to give your credit to your how about Shibi Abishai because that came from Daniel. That's Daniel. right. Yep. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Khan, verse 13, this is Daniel 1, verse 13. Then let your countenance be looked upon mm -hmm. before thee and the countenance of the children that eat the portion of the king's meat. Right. So he said, yo, look at these dudes that's eating all this nasty, this, this steak, all, uh, all the highest, the caviar. Yo, the lobster, yeah, 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 calamari. Yeah, yeah. You know, cause these are high quality things of the yeah, kings. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. calamari, uh, the calamari, the top price, it's, filet it's mignon. It's called gold. It's called gold. Yeah, yeah. Right now, versus the brother eating the inexpensive yeah. things that's grown out the ground. Filet mignon, all in both. Right, filet mignon. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Continuing. <laughs> you saw you corny, nigga. <laughs> corny, bro. Cause. Is the simplicity always beats you every time? Right. That's why you be right. tight, cause you right. go mad hard right. with the high quality shit, and then and then then you outplay you, and you like, damn, yeah, what the fuck? And the Lord said he's not the author of confusion. He keep mm -hmm. it simple, right? Mm -hmm. Real simple, yeah. Mm -hmm. So like, moving on, and, and as thou seest, deal with thy servant, mm -hmm. verse fourteen. So he consented to them in this matter and prove them ten days. Mm. For 15. 10 days. Mm -hmm. 10 days. 10 days. Mm. Y'all can't go 10 hours. Man. 10 days, bro. Mm -hmm. This shit are going to change your whole world watch. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 10 uh, days. Hey, and you know why? See, it was accessible, but guess what? Daniel did it in the time of his captivity, too. Because mm -hmm. you got to know the food choices was bad around Daniel. Mm -hmm. So, you know, yeah, it's, it's a battle because he had to put that off. Everybody around him eating the bullshit. You're like, damn. You know, yeah. so and but, Esau does that now. Why? How does purpose, he do that yeah. now? Because brothers be in the ghettos, the slums, right. the hood, and what's all around you? Fast food. We gotta come all the way over yeah. here to go to a juice bar. Yeah, the juice bar is right around the corner when you parked over here. Mm -hmm. You won't find that in the, in the neighborhoods of East New York, Brownsville. Uh -uh. Right, 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 right. Nah, you won't mm -hmm. find that. Every fast food you could think of is over there, though. You know what I'm saying? Right. Checkers, King, um, um, Burger King, McDonald's, right. Popeyes. You right. know, like Denny's. We could keep going. Yeah. I, all yeah, that yeah, shit yeah. is right Denny's, there. Yeah, they got that got shit the corner stacked stores. up like damn. They, they all if there's a McDonald's, up. wow, Wendy's got to be there. Y'all niggas, y'all all. Nah, we want to give you the option of McDonald's, Wendy's, Burger King, Just Checkers. Confused this. you with bullshit. Like, damn. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Checkers, Wendy's, everything. And then if not that, then you got the corner store. Like, bro, yeah, everything bro. is right there next. Yeah. Hero, everything is next. Yeah, they stacked up. Yeah. Why? Cause then he, cause, cause, cause he play on your weakness. Like mm -hmm. you know what? After a while, I keep seeing fucking. I might as well. It's right mm -hmm. here. I'm too tired to go over here. Right. But Daniel didn't get tired. He kept his faith in the Lord. Yo, I'm not right. doing that. That's right. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? He understood. That's the most side that's sustaining me, man. Mm -hmm. Remember, right. you, remember, Yahweh Shai try, Satan tried to do that to Yahweh Shai. He's like, yo, right. turn this, these rocks into bread. He's like, nah, right. man. Right. You know, mm -hmm. we are gonna live off of the word of the Lord. That's mm -hmm. right. That's you know? right. Good. That's right. Con, can I bring a quick precept real quick? Con, con. Um, Genesis 4 and 11, it says, And now art thou cursed from the earth, which have opened her mouth to receive thy brother's blood from thy hand. Uh, you know, speaking on Cain and Abel, mm -hmm. you know, um, and that the same spirit that was in Cain is what's in these Edomites today, right? And mm. Cain was cursed mm -hmm. for what he did, right? Mm -hmm. Verse 12, When thou tillest the ground, it shall not henceforth yield unto thee her strength. Mm -hmm. Right? And this yeah. is why we got to come to... Uh, segregated garden, right? Like you said, it should be right around the corner. It right, should be in your right, backyard, right, right? Right. It should just be for everyone. But Esau has to, you know, put it in the box somewhere. And for this you to is come this is it. real therapeutic. Us standing here mm -hmm. in the grass, and then you know, it's real therapeutic, man. Mm -hmm. It's changing. It's giving your knees a rest, your, your, your calves a rest. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. this is by standing on the grass. You can't mm -hmm. stand on the grass. And first of all, there ain't no real grass in the hood. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Exactly, you know, real grass in the hood. No grass in the hood at all. Yeah, and, 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 and is a limit of how the how flourishing the earth should be. Right. Because what Cain did, right? Because it right. says, when I till us, when I till us the ground, it shall now henceforth yield unto thee her strength. Right. A fugitive and a vagabond, thou shalt be on the earth, man. Mm. And, and, and 
and the Most High made him a fugitive, and he's a vagabond. That's right. And that's why the earth right now, to this day, you see the food shortages. You see the massive uh, dying of uh, plants and mm -hmm. trees. And, and ultimately, the Lord is going to have to uh, uh, fertilize this place by way of thermonuclear missiles, man. Mm -hmm. yep. You know? Because that, that fly is a, a cleaning agent. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's right. Uh -huh. That's it. Oh, you yeah. 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 uh, uh, Verse 15. Uh, this is Daniel 1 and 15. And at the end of the 10 days, their continents appeared fairer mm -hmm. and fatter in mm -hmm. flesh than all the children which did eat the portion of the king's meat. Right. So wow. it said they, they, they face. Read that again, Salaki. Verse 15. Mm -hmm. And at the end of the, of the ten, ten days, days yeah. mm -hmm. their continents prepared fairer mm -hmm. and fatter in flesh mm -hmm. than Fair. all the children which did right. eat. Right. So, so fairer means clearer. Mm -hmm. You know, they say you're yeah, the fairer skin. It, mean, it, it means all the blemishes. You know, yeah. people want to take care of their beauty. A lot of you females don't even need to wear a lot of makeup. Yeah. You do, because uh, you got to get the inside of you. You know, right. the, 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 the outside. The outside. Y'all be yeah, because some of the outside. How the outside, bro, the shit, the reason why the bumps is coming from is because it's coming from the inside. Yeah. Yeah. Inside, yeah. Yeah. Outside. It's projecting. It's yeah, projecting. it's projecting what's going on inside of you. Yep. Yeah. That's exactly why they say, you know, you are what you eat. And that's true. Yeah, right. You know what I'm saying? You are what you eat. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Whatever mm -hmm. you eat, that's what's going to come through your pores. That's, that's what's, what's going to reflect through, through your yeah. skin. That's going yeah. That's going to affect your mind state. You know, a lot yeah. of these foods affect... You know, uh, your mind, how you think, mm -hmm, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? You always eating. Depressed. You know, you yep. always eating certain type of, and, I, and we ain't telling brothers you can't eat meat. Put the disclaimer. Yeah, we, we just, not you know saying what I'm saying? That. We're not saying that, you know what I'm saying? We focusing we just, on our herbs because we here in, a, exactly. in, a, in, a, in a, uh, the herb garden and we shedding more light, right. more light on it because it's not really pushed as much as it should be. And we saying this is a balance. And they say, you know, you, you got to eat like this for the rest of your life. You did it for 10 days. So sometimes, you know, you take that out, you take that. 10 days or three days, whatever you could do, and you, you know, you tap in. But then when well, you do a cleansing, mm -hmm. and cause then you go, it's a balance, cause then you gonna eat meat, you, you know? Gonna eat meat. We gonna, we gotta do the Passover, you gotta eat meat, right. yeah. you know? And if you out with brothers, you know what I'm saying? You gonna, you know, you gonna eat a meal. Come on. So like, yeah, precept just to land back what you're saying. We got Sirach 37 and 30. It says, for excess of meats bring of sickness. Wow. Mm. Damn, check that out. See? So, so, so we should be doing a, a as far as ratio, we should be doing a larger portion of herbs, fruits, right. vegetables. But they don't. Now in the hood, they give you a large portion of rice. Yes. With meat, starch, yeah, yeah, starch, that, yeah. meat. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. So you're, you're not, you're and, and, and you're not supposed to eat like that. You know, your body should consume way right. more of the things that right. actually is better for you and good for you. But you can eat milk. Meat, meat yeah. but it shouldn't overlap no. the portion of vegetables, no. fruits, no. and not. herbs. Should not. Which, like you said, in our community. We eat fruits, herbs, and uh, vegetables as if it's a snack. Right. We don't consume it as much, like as if it's as it eighty percent of our diet. It should be. Yeah. It should be like that. Right. You know. Mm -hmm. Slacking. Yeah. So like I can say one thing too. Mm -hmm. Come on. I know you that too. Um, what Daniel, what, what Daniel proved was a righteous point. You know, he just proved a righteous point because mm -hmm. at the same time, he was showing the others against the others against him, and I thought a lot of Jake following that way of eating. So he wanted to prove that point to show Jake too that hey the fruit is the way to go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because I saw Jake eating following the king eating all that meat, Jake following, eating all that meat mm -hmm. and all them stuff and all them cake and all that the king. Yeah, yeah, the king, yeah, the king yeah, yeah. the richest diet is the king diet, yo. Yeah, yeah. That's a rich diet, diet yo. Yeah. Cake and all kind of rich things yeah, and yeah, yeah, wine yeah. and juices yeah, fleshly. and flesh. Yeah, yeah, you know, and yeah, yeah. then they just come with it's the fruit. Yeah, glutton diet. Yeah, glutton, yeah, yeah, yeah. The king. Cause you always trying yeah. Yeah. and taste yeah. that and taste that and taste that, you know? Yep. Yep, mm -hmm. and that was the people following. So all Daniel they were showing with the fruits, maybe vegetable, you know, with the mm -hmm. vegetable he had, and he just showed you ten days the difference, Con. you know, and he showed that point. It was a righteous point to show, mm -hmm. yeah, you know. Mm -hmm. Con. So Con. we got Sirach thirty-seven and thirty. It says, "For excess of meats bringeth sickness." Right. So guess what? A lot of you individuals <laughs> are getting sick and going through diabetes and cancers wow. and heart problems. High you know what I'm saying? And you talk about high cholesterols and your high veins all clogged up because wow. of the meats that you're eating, man. You know what I'm excessive. saying? Oh, it's excessive meats that you're eating. You know what I'm saying? So like the priest said, guess what? It's supposed to be a balance. It should be yeah. like 70 or 80% yeah. vegetation. And then you have your little meats here and there. You know what I'm saying? But yes. at the same time, we're not telling you not. Because you're going to have a problem when the Passover coming. You got to eat lamb. Yeah. Right, right, right. But it says, and uh, surfeiting, let me say that, surfeiting, mm -hmm. surfeiting, which pretty much means like excess of um, consumption, right. will turn into cholia, which is C-H-O-L-E-R. 
And when I Googled it, okay. now you can Google it again just okay. to um, back me up. To make sure when I Googled it, it went to Kalia, which they put a C H O L E R A disease. Gold right? And it says a bacterial disease causing several. Um, severe diarrhea and di dehydration mm. usually spread in water. It says cholia is a fatal is fatal if not treated right away. Mm, fatal mm -hmm. if not treated right away. Mm -hmm. How you spell it? C H. In the scriptures it says uh just just a minute. In the scriptures it says C H O L E R. Yeah, this is yeah. It's called anger, so, irritability. Um, but at thought the same to time, cause anger, bad temper when present in excess, yellow bile. So then you wonder why, you know, all our all our people, you know, when I say people, I mean you so-called blacks, Latinos, Native American Indians, okay, you Israelites scattered abroad, guess what? You wonder why we always in the uproar, ah, always upset. Because guess what? You just finished eating the animal that was that was in a rage. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? If you eating like an animal, you're gonna think like an animal. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. These dudes constantly eat all these different type of beasts, and then they wonder why they acting all beastly. And you like know what you, I'm saying? Uh, uh Slocky, like you said, uh, you know, you're supposed to um nurture that animal groom it and grow it up a certain way right massage it a certain way right, right a lot right. of these uh, uh animals isn't just terrified as terrified they go to the to, the to the slaughter they, they die in fear they, 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 they're, they're living in even, darkness they're not even eating the grass and herbs oh. themselves nah they're, they're not corn. chewing the cut they, they're yeah. eating corn yeah. they're hidden in the dark getting hormones shot up yeah. in them you know all all smushed up Part together, together. Yeah. Yeah. uh living among uh, yeah. on their feces you yeah. know yeah that's not that's not it's not cool now you put all that energy in you and you eat that and you all roused up and depressed now you're gonna go Smoke a damn blunt. Right here, yellow bowel. Yep. Increased pressure on the abdomen. See that? From being overweight or obese. It may cause by certain, it says, um, it says, um, or it's going into other medicines that could cause it, but yellow bowel, remember, it come from excess eating, so it'll cause increased pressure on the abdomen and then from being overweight or obese. A lot so of that, that mucus. Yeah, that, that yeah. shit staying you, man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The yellow bowel, a lot of that also mucus too. Cause a lot of that mucus, man. Yeah. That yellow discharge, a lot of things in your body, man. Mm. You yellow know, discharge. cause mucus is where all that disease come from. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A lot yeah. of those excess meats and things of that nature as well. But you know, that was just we just had to put that disclaimer in there also. Kind, kind. You know what I'm saying? To show you that, you know, excess of these meats causes that. Not saying yeah. that you can't eat it. Yeah. But right, right now right. we're dealing with these herbs, you know, to showing you the medicinal purposes and now mm -hmm. going with Daniel. See, Daniel just did a case study. Mm -hmm. Right. You know what I'm saying? And he put it into effect and look what just happened. Right. right. Uh, read that, brother, the last part. Con. Uh this is uh Daniel uh Mm. Is that 14, 15? Uh, 15. Uh, yeah, 15. It's Daniel 15, uh, 1 for 15. And at the end of the 10 days, their continents prepared fairer and fatter in flesh, and all the children which, eat, which did eat the portion of the king's meat. Verse 16. And Melza took away the portion of their meat and the wine that they should drink and give them pulse. <laughs> yo, shit. You see? Yeah, let me take away yo, man. Yo. Yeah, so <laughs> yeah. Hey, yeah. Yeah. That's what the king did. That's what yeah. Melzar. Oh, I guess Melzar. he was yeah. over the control over the meats yeah. and stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So like, he's oh, that was wise what he yeah, did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then you had to step up and yeah. challenge that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Then I was like, what? I don't care about the king. What? <laughs> yeah. That shit fucking bad, bro. That shows you the vibration <laughs> of the Lord of Israel. Like when we do something yeah. and in righteousness, guess what? It also made them um think rethink what they was doing. You know uh, what I'm saying? Yeah. That always happened in the scriptures dealing with like kings right. and things of that nature. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Right. Lord always make them reconsider. The Hebrew exactly. diet. There you go. Exactly. Hebrew is like diet. Yeah, but it's all about paleo diet, hey, man. Yeah. Da die. Daniel chose the meat of the earth to eat, you know. He mm -hmm. chose the meat of the earth, like the book saying Genesis, the meat of the earth. That one right. that's, why he, that's why he did. He says, He that is wise will not abhor them. Come on, and, 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 and that's what Daniel did. Right, let's start walking. Alright. Mm -hmm. We're gonna head that way. Already? Yeah. Yeah, we gotta go up that way. Right. So, okay. Yeah, you know, you can cut it off, like I said. Um, all right then, Shalom. You no, know, had a great day here. Shalom, had, a, had, a, had a beautiful day. Do the spirit and power, y'all. Bashim, y'all shot. The most high allowed mm -hmm. us, you know, access to even come over here and appreciate, you know, you know all his flowers and herbs and plants and trees. You right. know what I'm saying? Definitely a lot of edification within that, you know, doing husbandry. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Doing herbs, also looking at the symbolisms between that and Israel. Mm -hmm. Yahweh Shah, you know, dealing with the vines. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? There was a lot of beautiful aspects and concepts. Of, hey, y'all brothers too, you know, if y'all seen certain things that we didn't tap into, hey, do a land back video. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And 
Right. Hopefully that'll inspire y'all to get out there more. Right. You know, because again, again, you know, the scriptures tell you that, you know, um, oh, right there on the tip of my tongue. Uh, pretty much, um, you know, like the earth is for us. Like, mm -hmm. the, the Lord we, make the earth for our sakes. For our sakes, the water. Right. Second Ezra. So right. So, you know, while you're here, hey, travel, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. As much traveling you can experience, that's an apocryphal, you know what I'm saying? Right. So come out here, you actually be one with nature. Right. You know, reflect on the Lord and um, just go from there, man. You it's know? a lot, it's a lot we did. There's more to it. The park's so big. Yeah. It's getting hot out here. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. know, but um the main thing we was coming into was looking at the virtues of plants and stuff. But I got a quick scripture, it's first Corinthians three and six, that says, I have planted and Apollo's watered. But God gave the increase. So, mm. you know, all things that's planted and all things that's watered doesn't always grow. Mm. And that's spiritually what we're, uh, we're, we're doing. This work, we're planting um, seeds by by spreading the word. All right. Um, real quick in Luke 8, 11, it says that, that um, now the parable is the seed is the word of God. Mm. So every time we put forth the word of God and doing videos like this, we're, we're planting, all right? And then um, you appoint the brother that 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 uh, who's learning to the apostles' video. And then they getting watered, you know, continuous waters, you know, because they got continuous videos. But then it's up to the Lord that's going to really increase them because you got brothers that fell out the truth, you know, um, and they got the breakdowns and stuff, you know. Unfortunately, that, you know, the most high, they uh, ridded them out of the garden, you know. But um, it's all up to the Lord who's gonna give the increase, and if He going, you know, uproot that thing out the garden, man. So, you know, that was a. Uh... God, God. Yeah, you can tell you something you gonna say. Uh... No, no, that was okay. it. Yep. yep. Uh, mm -hmm. Just to, um, you know, finish off the scripture. Unless brothers got something else. Got Isaiah 40, and I'm gonna get to the point. Verse eight. You know, I'm gonna start verse seven. It says, "The grass withereth, the flower fadeth, because the spirit of the Lord bloweth upon it. Surely the people." It's grass, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So guess what? Just let you know that the earth, you know, dealing with the people is the Most High's garden. Right. You know what I'm saying? We all a part of the Most High garden, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But verse eight, and that's something that happens just in nature. You know, actual grass. Guess what? After a while, it withers. Mm -hmm. Guess what? Whoever the Most High feels not to be uh, fruitful in this truth, mm -hmm. guess what? He gonna blow it away. Mm -hmm. But yeah. verse eight, it says, "Grass withereth, the flowers fadeth, but the word of but the word of our power, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, shall stand forever. Mm -hmm. See, so even when dealing with agriculture and things of that nature, guess what? What trumps all of that? The word of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Right. It's the word that even causes this grass to grow, that causes this tree to grow. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's the word that even get, put the spirit on us to even be able to come out here. Mm -hmm. You know, the scriptures tell you that what? The most I direct about steps. Mm -hmm. We can't do anything without the word of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. That's what causes. Uh, these trees is the growth, you know, for brothers to um, bring in fruit for repentance. You yeah. know, for brothers to even be in this ministry is because the most side decided to unlock some. Hey, what's the scripture say that? Um, 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 damn, he said he known us within the womb. Like faith was within Jeremiah. the womb. Jeremiah. Jeremiah. Yeah, Jeremiah. For, for him, the, uh, I knew the in the womb. I knew the uh, in the womb, the water, brother. You know what I'm saying? So that was that word mm -hmm. that attached the brothers while they was in the womb. You know, brothers yeah. were destined to do what they do. Now, Lord willing, we be part of the elect. You know what I'm saying? We know we was called, Lord, when we be of the chosen. Mm -hmm. But no matter what, that word is what allows everything to flourish, man. Uh -huh. So even within looking at all this, you guys say to yourself, you know, how much more important are you besides just the uh, actual uh, regular plants that you see? How much more important are you in this ministry? You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Pushing the word of Yahweh about some Yahweh's up. Right. Uh -huh. That's it on that. Let's go. Uh -huh. something else to say. That was it. Thanks uh -huh. Rob. You good? Gone. All right. Gone. Right. Gone. I hold it. You held, you held it the first time, so I'll hold it this no, time. No, 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 you brothers got it, man. Uh, all right, then. So, shalom, shalom. Yeah, brother. Hey, shalom, another beautiful day. Uh, God. Brothers, uh, disclose the information of the Most High, showing you also that, you know, it's not the world, then the Bible is in the world. It's the Bible, and the world is in the Bible. Right? God. You know, uh. so everything you see, that you see, and you, you can make contact with, it, it's in the Bible. The scriptures talk about it. Uh. Hey, with that being said, we want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushua, Bashem, Rakakwadash.
Number one is to the apostles of Great Millstone who rule well. Uh, uh, salutations to the hope for your leg, by your uh, God, the house of David, uh, and to the confusion that faces scattered across the four corners of the globe. Uh, uh, shalom to the priest and elder uh, shepherd, uh, um, um, Thou Wan Mayam. Khan, well. Shalom, love, yeah, love you, brother. Thou Wan Mayam, love you, brother. Khan. Love you, brother. Uh, that being said, Kom Yashala. Kom Yashala. Kom Yashala. Kom Yashala. Kom Yashala. Kom Yashala. Shalom. 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 Shalom.